Hey everybody, it's Patrick Britz and here is your SAC Daily Dose for Monday, August 27, 2018 and here's what's happening today. First off, over the weekend, the SAC volleyball season officially began, uh, started, pardon me, um, and we had four teams, five teams, pardon me, five teams playing over the weekend and had a very good weekend overall, went 18-3 and three as a conference including 8-1 and one against fellow Southeast Region opponents. Uh, Anderson, last year's regular season uh, champion, started the season 4-0. and Queens, last year's conference tournament champion, and um, also regional semifinals, finished 2-0. and And then Catawba, Coker, and Newberry all started off 3-1. and Tomorrow, Wingate plays a couple of matches, and then we have a full slate that begins in earnest on Friday. So the 2018-19 SAC athletic season has officially begun. Next up, late last week, uh, it was announced that the Coastal Plains League, which is a summer collegiate baseball league, and those longtime SAC fans may recall we used to play our conference baseball tournament at one of those venues in Forest City, North Carolina. They are part of that Coastal Plains League. Uh, they announced their all-league teams uh, late last week, and the SAC had three individuals named those teams. Um, designated hitter and utility player Hunter Shepard from Catawba was named to the first team. He plays for the, or did play this season for the Moorhead City Marlins. And then on the second team, Daniel Vitello of Mars Hill, who played for the Martinsville Mustangs, was named the second team, the same position, DH and utility player. And then outfielder Danton Hyman, who played also with the Moorhead City Marlins of Newberry College, was also named to the second team. And Danton was also a second team all sack performer in the 2018 collegiate season. So congratulations to those individuals. Next, um, the uh, NCAA on Friday announced its uh, showcase games as part of their new media agreement with Niles Media, uh, and they announced their football showcase games, and the South Atlantic Conference will be featured in two of those games. Um, in addition to those two uh, games, uh, we will have four teams playing on the ESPN networks um, against Division One opponents. And when it comes to that agreement, uh, the Niles Media Agreement, the first 19 games of the uh, agreement are predetermined games, and then the final three will be known as flex games and will pl be played on either November 3 or November 10 and will be based on rankings, uh, impact on um, postseason play, conference championships, et cetera. Um, the list of games starts this Thursday with Carson Newman visiting West Florida, uh, last year's national runner-up. And then on September 1, we have a, a trio of games all against Division I opponents that are going to be part of the ESPN Plus platform. Newberry at Western Carolina, Limestone at Gardner-Webb, Mars Hill at East Tennessee State. And then the second game that's part of that showcase, the Division II showcase, is uh, Wingate at Carson Newman on September 15. And then finally, uh, on November 3rd, Tusculum at VMI will be part of that ESPN Plus program. And as a reminder, every Wingate home football game is also going to be broadcast on ESPN3. So a lot of national exposure for um, the SAC and our football programs. Uh, finally today, the, uh, with sticking with the football theme, uh, Limestone, our associate member in football, announced that their football team will be featured on a pair of weekly radio shows starting today, Monday, August 27. Um, this week, we'll begin with the Limestone Football Live, Tony Aruli at 1230 on WZZQ 104.3, Gaffney's Hot FM. I try to sound like a DJ, Gaffney's Hot FM. Um, and then the Saints will be featured on The Huddle, on ESPN Upstate at 3.30, Sports Talk Radio, and that is going to be on Tuesday from 6 to 8 p.m. So some good publicity for Limestone and the SAC in the uh, Upstate radio market. So good luck to Limestone on those. Now, for everyone's favorite part of the show, the famous sports quote. Um, I'm not a huge Mike Krzyzewski fan, but this is a great quote from him. In order to be a winner... You have to look for ways of getting things done and not for reasons why things can't be done. 
end quote. Uh, that's just part of being a team player. You have to find a way to get something done that's going to be a benefit to the entire team and not just look for a reason that you can't do it. So sage advice there from Coach K. Uh, that's going to do it for me today. You can find links to all the stories I discussed in the description below and more on our homepage, thesack.com. Make sure to continue to give us a thumbs up, liking it, subscribe, hit the bell button, everything, share it. Whatever you can do to help promote this, uh, these shows would be awesome. Uh, that's going to do it for me today. Be sure to join us again on Wednesday for the next edition of the SAC Daily Dose. Have a great week, everyone.